In this video, I'll be showing you how to download the Switch emulator Ryu Jinx. I've been hearing a lot of people say that Ryu Jinx is down, but I'm here to assure you that it's not. The first thing I want you to do is go to the link in the description. The link in my description will have an official Ryu Jinx download for you, and there also should be a gift there for you. After you download the link in my description, the first thing I want you to do is unzip the folder that has the Ryu Jinx official build in there. After you unzip that folder and you open up your emulator for the first time, you should be greeted with a message that says this. We're going to have to add our encryption keys and our firmware to our emulator. I will not be showing you where to get the encryption keys or the firmware or how to download them. But if you downloaded the link in my description, you should have everything you need to be successful within this download. To add the encryption keys, we're going to go back in our emulator. We're going to go to the top that says File. We're going to go to the Open Ryu Jinx folder, and then we're going to find the folder that says System. Once we find that folder that says Systems, we're going to go ahead and double click that, and this is where we're going to add our encryption keys 18.1. Now, once we do that, we're going to exit out the emulator and we're going to go ahead and add the firmware. To add the firmware is quite simple. We're going to go to the top where it says tools and then we're going to click on where it says install firmware from XCI or zip. Once we click that, we're going to go ahead and find where we got our firmware located. We don't even have to unzip it. We can find the zip file of it. It should be 18.1. We're going to click it, press open, and then we're going to get this indication right here. We're going to simply press yes. After that, our firmware and also our keys have been installed. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and configure our controller. The next thing I want you to do is go up top to options. Then I want you to go to settings. I would like for you to go down to input. Input is where we're going to get our controller set up. Now, if you're using an Xbox input controller, at the input devices, when you scroll down, all you're going to do is find the controller that you're using. The next thing you're going to do is go to controller types, and you're going to put pro controller. If you want to configure any of these buttons, all you have to do is click which one you want to configure, and then press the corresponding button on your controller. Next thing I want you to do is go back to settings. Once you're at settings, I want you to go to the system tabs. Find where it says hacks, and then I want you to check where it says ignore missing services. The last thing we're going to do is add our games to the emulator. We want to go back to our options tab. We want to go where it says user interface. We want to find the section that says game directory. We want to simply click add and we want to find the file that has our switch ROMs in it. You downloaded the link in the description. You have a gift in there so you can add to this particular folder. Once we find the folder, we want to select that folder and then we want to simply click select folder and then hit apply. Your game should go ahead and pop up for you. Only thing left to do is play the game. Whatever game you want to play, you just go ahead and double click it and it should go ahead and open up for you. If this video helps you in any way, shape or form, please hit that like button and hit that sub. Thank you.